Hi everyone, welcome to your daily reading. This is going to be for Monday and Tuesday. So that's going to be Monday, November 16th and Tuesday, November 17th, 2015. I'm going to be using the Magical Times Empowerment cards. So I call on my guides and your guides and all beings of light to help me with this reading and that everyone watching this gets a clear and accurate message for them. I'm going to go ahead and pick four cards for, the, for these two days and see what we most need to know. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. Here's the third one. And here's the final one. Okay, the first card is strength. You have courage. You can endure. Find your center and spiral into your power. So I do remember saying that this week we're going to be looking for that inner power, that inner strength. And again, this is bringing it up for Monday and Tuesday. We want to be aware of our strengths and focus on that. Don't spend too much time on the what ifs, the whys, because that's really not going to help the situation. And it's okay to do that once in a while, but when it starts getting in the way of you living your life, that's when your strength and inner power needs to come in and help you out, get out of that mindset because you don't want to attract the wrong things. I also feel like when it says spiral, I feel like this has to do with spirit and how they're going to be there to help us in the background. And we really need to be aware of their energies on these two days because if we can't, you know, find the inner strength within, our, within ourselves, then we need to ask our guides to, you know, lend the, lend us some of their, you know, their blessings, their strength, and ask for a sign, you know, ask for some extra energy to get to where you need to be. So the next card is flexibility. Gently throw, f f flow through <laughs> the turbulence life has, the ability to shape you, bend, don't break. So I do feel like this has to do with, and you again, you see the circle. So I feel like you really need to be aware of spirit trying to help you. They, they want to shape you in a healthy way not break you and when we try too hard to do it ourselves we might break ourselves and i don't mean that in a negative way i'm not saying that we're not capable with our inner power and inner strength to get where we need to be but when you feel like you're losing control and you need extra support that's when you need to call on your angels and your guides to help you so that way you are more flex, you know, flexible and not so drained, not so tired, not feeling like it's the end of the world. It's it, you know, it's time for strength, whether it's inside of yourself or it's through spirit. Union. You have seen and unseen allies. Draw upon their strength, join forces with friends and flourish. Again, they're bringing it up that they're there for you. And whether you can see them or not, they're still in the background. And when I see the dragon, I feel like there there might be some harsh, harsh energies that might be trying to come through and filter through you. But if you call on your angels and guides and you do your protection you ask for strength and flexibility in a healthy way, you're going to feel more connected to life 
and people and your angels in general. You're going to feel that sacred union, that, that love, that unconditional love that's limitless. I'm trying to think if I can get anything from this card. Anything else? Any messages? Again, join is standing out to me because I feel like a lot of us get caught up in all or nothing. And it's important to join strength and flexibility and a more healthier, more whole as a union way so that we can get positive results. And it's okay to ask for help. It's better than not getting the help you need and you making things worse than they already are. And this could be in anything, but I feel like this, these two days is going to be more spiritual because I feel like this might be internal battles with ourselves, bad habits, negative thinking, um, reminiscing about the past that is not really healthy and is not really going to help us get to where we want to be. Quest. Be bold and mighty forces. Will and you take action. Good luck favors the brave. Okay, so... With this card, it's really just saying that You need to put your, again, inner strength and your ability to trust your intuition to make the, the choices and do the actions that is going to benefit you in a healthy way. And sometimes that means when we go on a quest, going outside of our comfort zone. But the reward is more fulfilling than not asking for help, not taking that chance. And they just really want you to know that this is your own journey. And you can ask again for your, your guides' help and they will assist you because they know what you need at that time. You might not even know what you want to ask for. You just might be, I just, I don't know what I need, but I just feel like you will know and you will help me where I need help. So I feel like these two days are all about internal power, internal strength. And when you can't feel that in these two days, if you don't feel that, call on your guides. They're really gonna be there to assist you as you can see. They're, if you feel like you're not doing it yourself, they're gonna be there to help you, that union. Maybe you can only do half of what you need to do and then allow spirit to guide you the rest of the way. So I feel like this is a very spiritual journey for Monday and Tuesday. There's going to be a lot of detoxing, release work, and really getting on the road to a more solid foundation for a healthier future. So I hope this makes sense and I'm wishing everyone a happy Monday and Tuesday and until we meet again, blessings.